Hey everyone, welcome back. Happy, happy Wednesday. Give me one second. Um... Welcome back. Happy, happy Wednesday. Uh, I found out today that Throne of Bone is out. This is a game I played the demo of and very much enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. I've been excited for the full release to come out. And this isn't full release. This is still early access. But. So go check it out. Um. Actually, let me, let me do something real quick. Can I go back? No. Okay, we'll just do this. Throne room. Okay. Fortune hunters have been raiding the crypt. Show them. Venturing. All right. I got to remember how to play a little bit. If I remember it, it gives me like storybook brawl vibes. Okay. Yeah, you see three and two and stuff like that. So between rounds, you get to buy stuff. So this is a gourd head. Neighboring minions get plus one attack. Kind of cool. Sneaky can attack backline minions, even if they are protected. And your other minions have plus one health. So even if this is on the bench, we get that. I'm going to go... Man, I don't like the stat lines of any of these. I'm going to go with this. Three skulls. Skulls are the currency. You can see this is done here. Do not miss anything with the webcam. It's just that. Ranged. Nargord head. That guy. Dies or sacrifice. Summon a 0-1 broken sticky. Let's go with this for the ranged. We do get to adjust our battle lines. Cool. Level up, level two minions. So we can learn a quest, summon three spirits. Whenever you deal magic damage, apply that much poison as well. That's a kind of cool one. Whenever you sacrifice a minion, give a random minion related permanently. Let's try this. So you have a whole bunch of spells you can use down at the bottom. We have four. You're not ranged, though, even though there's two of you. Shielded. You can see tags below them, too. That's really cool, actually. I kind of want to give that a shot. Can we... So if we sacrifice this, Reaper Feral. I don't think we have any Reapers, though. No. That's too bad. I'm going to grab this guy. Uh-oh. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Mother. All right, we're good. I'm going to hold on to this guy just for now. We can change stuff around. So we can have you kill that. That trades like that. Yeah, we took some damage. You can see our lives over here.
Also, let me know if the music's too low, guys. So this is kind of a cool thing I remember, too. Is you get a grid of rewards. Earn a storage spot. But on one battle, earn skulls. That's an ore. Magic mastery just increases that damage. Warriors and shamans get plus three health. I think I might go with this one here. This could be really good if you have ways to scale damage. So we can just do something like that. That's aggravating. I gotta keep in mind. To an unprotected enemy. Grammy plus one plus one. I'm gonna give it to him. He might be able to survive a little bit more. Um, I don't think we... Oh, hold up. So this spell is... You deal one magic damage, so you're not going to kill anything with that. You're going to summon a sticky. Neighboring minions get plus one attack. So that goes with the sticky. I think this side is. Yep, okay. Plus four skulls is nice. And then we get more stuff. As we get to the next section, we get more uh, more room for this. We have nine. It's a rogue warrior. Shield the minion behind him this combat. He's a reaper warrior, so we could give him more. Spooky Skull is really cool. And so that's Skeletons and Shamans. So let's take him. I think I'm also going to take him. We'll sacrifice this. So this is just great for sacrificing in general. We can just create a uh, kind of an engine with that. And rerolling does cost one. We can do it again. So now he's pretty strong. Hungerer, it'd be cool to get another one on him. You are a Blight Mage. So you get a bonus. So let's take the Hunger and put him there. I feel like we can kind of just do that. We have a lot of things that want to be up front. What if we do this? Yeah, let's give this a shot. Yo, what's going on, Confin? 
Yeah, it is a cool new game. I actually made a video on this a couple months ago. Bramble. Okay, so these things are deadly. That sucks, but... And as the hunger, he should get an extra one. I'm blasting a little bit. Uh, it's better than last league. Uh, my build's just taking a little while to get off the ground. It's not nearly as tanky as I was led to believe, and that sucks. But I also went with a really aggressive Atlas tree. So that could be part of it. We can combine the hungers now. Okay, uh, your zombies everywhere have plus one attack permanently. Rogues have one health permanently. Look at zombies. How about you? How's your, uh, how's your build going? Get one free reroll, that's interesting. That's a zombie rogue. Seems like we could go like a... Zombie type thing. So if we sacrifice this, we grab that. We have three. Reaper Rogue? We're going to grab one of these guys, and then we're going to lock this. I'd rather do this. Rather keep him protected. Alright, so combat start. This minion gets a bonus attack. But if you take damage, you gain plus two attack. That's going to be nasty ranged after you attack. Okay. Okay. It went down there at least, and then we tied, which is fine. We still got through. Let me. Uh, you may... Oh, okay. How's that going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ranged has always been broken. Um, ranged has always been broken. They gotta find a way to deal with it. Crow collar, we can upgrade. So this is Reapers. Rogues have plus one attack. This is a rogue. I'm gonna go with rogues. Frida. So that's a skeleton shaman. That's a blight warrior. Blight warrior. Skeleton seward. Yeah, I, uh, I think my next big things... I need... I need to upgrade my boots to get double Ellie or ailment immune boots. And then my other thing I'm looking for, I have one piece of a uh, unique left. And it's currently sitting at 16 div. I also need to pick up three silver oils. Um, crow, another crow collar. We can upgrade this just to get a bonus. Skeletons everywhere, warriors everywhere. Spirit shaman. I think I'm just going to take another one. So we're going to gain a skull this turn. Sacrifice him, and we'll grab this to try to get him better. That's when you attack, so what if we just did... Something like that? 
Something like that. Give that a shot. Uh, gives random ally three attack. We really got to tear through those. Got it. Uh, but we're going to want him there. Oh, first enemy. Okay, it's still fine. Yeah, the poison will be nice. All right, you get an attack. Yeah, we have some scaling going. My T16s are interesting. I went heavy Tormented Spirit, so I'm doing uh, Tormented Spirits, Necropolis, Domination, Ambush, and Scarabs as my, what I'm doing. Are you online right now? Here. Those are what I've crafted so far with the Necropolis stuff. When you summon a minion, give it plus five, plus five. Whenever a friendly minion dies, shield. That's kind of cool. Shielded is nice. It means in storage. I think shielded is really strong. We're going to go for that. Yeah, th those are what I made. Refreshment we can upgrade. Your Reapers everywhere get a health. Warriors everywhere get a health. I'm gonna take it. They get a health. Blight Mage. Whenever you summon a related minion, you get... That's kind of cool. I just don't think we're doing it that often. I think this skull is probably going to go at some point. Let's actually reroll once. I think it's mostly zombie stuff we're looking for. Rogue could work too. Like him. That's fine, except it doesn't get extra attack. Let's reroll once more. Can I? Uh, zombies everywhere get a health. Rogues everywhere get a health. Go zombies. Yep. Now... Summon a minion for no cost, because we got it to tier 3. Zombie Feral, when summoned, give another minion a shield permanently. Spirit Steward, support, you get plus 1 attack for every bonus to your magic mastery. Oh, that's really cool. Or Skeleton Rogue, range, after a related minion normally attacks, you make a bonus attack. So that would be Skeleton Rogues. Skeleton. Although you're not attacking. Rogue. Reaper Rogue. I think I'm going to take him. And we're just going to do this. This is Blight Feral. Let's just hold off. Yo, Alivan, what's going on, man? Thank you for the resub. That's kind of cool, but we're not resummoning a ton. Peacekeeper. Whenever a shield is consumed, you get plus one, plus one permanently. 
And that is... That's a zombie warrior. That might be worth holding on to. Oh, I didn't see the message. Uh, you got a bone to pick? Oh, and I'm not being humorous right now. That sounds like chat GPT generated puns. Not gonna lie. Is this shielded? You know what? I'm gonna lock this for him. Alright, so you gives a random ally three attack. Shielded is aggravated, or aggravating. But if we take him out with this, we could be good. It's a lot of shielded. Yeah, at least he goes down. That's fine. We get shielded on that. And we get another one on him. Nice. Not nice. Wait. Okay. He kept resummoning and I wasn't sure why. <laughs> We're good. We got there. An additional minion storage. Gain a life or XP. XP is probably pretty good. Guaranteed one skeleton. We're not really one skeleton. Strength means by sparring. Double the... We're not really doing support. Magic or Poison Master. It might just be this up here. Yeah, I'm going to take this. Uh, Throne of Bone. Do you remember when I played Storybook Brawl? It's kind of similar to that, but it's a roguelite. Um, so... Well, I, you're in a weird phase right now. Give me a second. I'll get to, like, the main combat. I'm gonna go with the extra health. So here's, like, the main combat. Um, they attack left to right. And then the back row as well. Each minion has, obviously, an attack and defense health value, as well as tags you can see underneath the units. So this is a Reaper Warrior, this is a Zombie Rogue. There are certain things that say whenever a related minion dies, related just means they have to share at least one tag. Um, yeah, after a related minion normally attacks, you make a bonus attack. So it's just trying to find synergies, kind of. As you level up down here, you get these spells, which are just passive bonuses. Uh, uh, it, I, I don't know about the story of the game. You're trying to reclaim a castle and get back to the Throne of Bone. I think that's it. Um, I just went with... So I was trying to craft ES stuff, Confin. So I went with making sure I had enough item level to get it to 85 or 86 from the corpses. Modifier tier, explicit modifiers up to five. Um, that way I could craft something on at the end. Defense modifiers, less life modifiers, less attribute modifiers, and then resistance modifiers. Yeah, it is a little dark. It's not as bad on my screen, but yeah. And then you have lives over here. So I'd like for him to get a little bit more. This Bone Ballista can go crazy if you get enough synergies with it. Uh, only five lives, yes. 
Yep, every time I get hit directly, I lose a life. Grand Dominion plus two plus two. I'm going to give it on this guy, the Bone Ballista, to take advantage of the extra attacks. So now we're moving into the third range. As you get to new zones, extra spots open up. Uh, and then, like most games like this, yep, here's the shop every round. You have skulls here. Yeah, we were in a weird phase between zones. So you want skeleton rogues, so probably rogues, and we also want zombies. That's kind of nice. Whenever a related minion dies. So we can take this and then just sacrifice it right away. Uh, so sacrifice lets you kind of rotate out and we usually get one skull, which is the currency. This is a second. So we get two, which is just his cost. We also picked up, uh, where is it? Oh, this spell. Uh, whenever we sacrifice, we give a random related minion plus one, plus one. So it just came out even. So we wanted to grab this. And him. So I'm going to grab him. I'd like to get him too right now, but I don't think it's going to happen. So I'm going to do that. Go and put him here. And then you, like, you can level up monsters by playing more of them. Doesn't really show a great way of, like, when they're a higher level, though, is the thing. Perfected, there you go. So that's perfected, and this one's improved, if you hover over them. So there's, you combine two of them to make a level two, and then you combine two level twos to make a perfected, yeah. So this is turn start, retort two health to allies. After 10 turns, you give friendly. Okay. Range, turn start, you move behind if unprotected. Until it's harmed. Okay. Let's do this. We're eventually going to replace that. Uh, where do you see silver bar? Oh, I guess. I never even noticed the color difference. I, I didn't notice the color difference, if I'm being honest. Color blindness, yay! Yeah, so we got that now. Damn you. Like, we're still fine, but... Yeah, it is. Alright, so we can pick up... Yeah, we wanted him. I want to see what else is available. Double your attack. Yeah, so we're going to grab one of these. Blood Orange is Blight Feral. Again, that just kind of is what it is. Learn a random level one smell is kind of spell is kind of cool. Uh, these are your spells down here. Skeleton warrior. Whenever a related minion attacks, give it plus six attack. So imagine this Viking funeral, and then the bone ballista, which is also a skeleton. So every time this Bone Ballista would attack, it would get plus six attack. If we had, like, a skeleton thing going. So I think I'm going to drop this. Do 
that. Forgot they're lost after rounds, um, so I'm going to hold on to this. And then... That... I thought that said squash fucker, not going to lie. I'm going to hold on to these. So the thing with this is whenever it sacrifices, it summons another broken sticky... Which we can then sacrifice again. So it's neutral on skulls. And we get to benefit twice from the Reaper Feral stats if we want. Alright. Deadly. Deadly. Shielded. Give a friendly minion plus two attack. I'm just going to do it on him. So, we can attack him because he's not protected by anything up front. So, not any of these could be attacked. There we go. So there's usually a lot going on. All right, so we're going to start with you. We're just going to sacrifice. Gives that an extra one. I sacrificed the wrong one. I sacrificed the one I wanted to hold on to. Fuck. That was bad. So this is Reaper Mage. That might be better than this. In fact, I think it is. So we just do that. Anything here? Give related, improved, or perfected minions plus one permanently. Improved, improve. That might be worth taking. Yeah, I know, Confin. I'm going to hold off, but... There's got to be a trick in here somewhere. Allies get plus two attack. Hmm. Not sure what to expect here, but... Really? It's all planned for the sake of content? Exactly. See, now I get this stuff. It's like Peacekeeper. We get an upgrade. Whenever you upgrade things, you get your choice of bonuses. Plus one health. Yeah, well, we have more zombies. We can also get an extra... Or Poison Master Skull sometimes. You know, like, we could grab this and just hold on to it. So this is a spirit mage. Because we lose all skulls, we might as well use them up for the sacrifice and get the extra bonus. This is more what I was expecting. Oh, boy. 
Okay, so he's coming out to play. This will be fun. We're definitely doing it on you. So that's a feral rogue, which uh, should trigger that whenever it attacks normally. Oh yeah, some cards have multiple lives, as you can see by little hearts here. This didn't die, so it didn't get the power up. Bone Ballista's still going. Never mind. It's so strong. It's down to its last life. Okay, it's done. I don't think we're getting through that, though. Maybe? Wait, actually, we did. Jeez. This guy. Now you get to choose another spell. Your movies get plus one, plus one permanently. The end of your opponent's first turn will trigger all your combat start abilities. Combat start. Ooh, grotesque. But like, we'd want to have some reanimation with that, I think. I think just scaling is fine. And now we get these again. Get means in your shops, plus one attack. Gain a life or experience. Skeletons and blights are related. Oh yeah, you got these two. Sometimes you can make different tags related, which can create some crazy stuff. Spirits and horrors. Skeletons and horrors are related. I'm not really doing that, though. Or an additional minion storage spot could be cool. Yeah, we'll take this. There's also support abilities, and support abilities uh, happen even if they're in storage. Which is kind of cool. We'll just do it on you. Oh, I don't want to pause it. I was hoping to speed it up. Yeah. But yeah, you can see some crazy stuff happening. Uh, plus two, plus two. I'm going to give it to this. Because it can attack the back line. Skeletons and blights. Okay. So we have this. Alright, can I... I forget. Can I move these? Alright, we can move these back. So what I'm going to do... One summoned... I guess that doesn't work how I thought it did. Oh, yeah, we did. Um, means get plus one, plus one, and then apply a one poison, I guess. Spirits, ferals. I'm just going to take an extra skull because neither one of those I care all that much about. We can do that. Your means get plus one attack for every bonus to your magic mastery. We don't have any.
Whenever you summon a related minion, which is Blight Major Skeleton. This is Blight Warrior Skeleton. Nope. Yep, we can give that a bonus. So our skeletons, it's related, right? Yeah. That's not improved. Yeah. I don't think that's worth as much as I want it to be. So this is another Harvest Huntsman. So we can upgrade that. And then Reapers everywhere get plus one attack permanently. Rogues get a plus one attack. We have more rogues. We have four left. This is probably one we hold on to. We could grab one of these now, actually. If we wanted to, like, sacrifice this uh, refreshment. I think I'm going to. I'm going to sacrifice him. It costs five. Fuck me. Fine. I can't count. It's okay. So now this guy is something new. Transform a random enemy into a golden idol. That could really just brick you. Depending on what it hits. Aww. So he doesn't need it, but we'll give it to him. One poison to an enemy. So you took that out. So now he doesn't get to scale. Let's go. Now we can grab this stuff. So let's grab you. Skeletons get a health. Rogues have a health. Let's go rogues. And I'm going to sacrifice him twice. And then... Sacrifice him. Sacrifice this one. And then we'll hold on to him. Trying to take more, uh, trying to do more with the cycling. Stop hitting him! Come on! I want him to scale, damn it! Fuck you! And you go after him! Like, the Bone Ballista's gonna carry me, but... It doesn't insane doesn't insane amounts of work. I'm just gonna grab these two and move on, but I swear to God if you hit him again, I'm gonna be pissed. 
Okay, that's okay. At least he can scale now. We're good. We got the scaling. Uh, what triggers the Bone Ballista? Uh, it is whenever a related minion normally attacks. So that is Skeleton, any Skeleton, any Rogue, or any Blight. So not that, but Rogue. Rogue. Not that. Rogue. Rogue and Rogue. Lots of stuff triggers it, and it's great. Uh, whatever new. For the first time each combat. All right. Blood orange we can sacrifice. Shielded. When summoned, give another minion shielded permanently. That's kind of nice, actually. I'm going to take that. So I'm going to drop this. We're going to summon that. And let's give it to... Let's give it to the Bone Ballista. We'll drop that, and then this is Blight Feral Skeleton. Now we can have two Bone Ballistas going. They don't trigger each other. For Bone Ballista? No, it's just normal attacks. If it goes around again, then yeah, it'd be fine. Like, they would, but... This thing has multiple lives. Attacks, transform any... Transform your target into a Golden Idol. Fuck you. Well, we're gonna give it to you. We're going to poison you, although it's not going to do much. No! You bastards! Alright, I think we're fine. We're just gonna start tearing through it. Although we got rid of my bone ballista. Alright, it's fine. Bone ballistas go, go nutty. When I played it when I played the demo, I remember having them in like a Viking funeral. It got insane. Uh, I don't want that. Shield a friendly minion permanently. Maybe. Plus five attack permanently. We're going to take that. So for the forge, if we're doing this much shielding, we want extra attack. Thought we pick okay. So now we get to have more stuff. So 
So for sticky, we can do that and sacrifice it. Sacrifice it. So crow collar we can definitely use. So we put like crow collar there. We get an upgrade. Uh, so how does the unit pick their target? It's randomly. So um, it has to target an unprotected unit. So anything in the front line is unprotected. Anything in the back line is protected if it has a unit in front of it. This guy has Sneaky, so he can attack backline minions even if they are protected. So as long as a minion is unprotected and doesn't your attacker doesn't have Sneaky, it can be targeted at random. Yeah, I'm taking that. So that's kind of how it's done. You gain 1 XP. That's kind of cool. Let's Oh yeah, once you get a t level 3 uh, minion and a perfect one, you get a nice monster. That's kind of insane actually. If you got that early, plus 1 poison mastery permanently. In progress art. Got it. Equal to the greatest among related minions. Well, we don't have horrors and we don't have shamans. You keep attacking until you die. Can you imagine if that was synergized with this? I still think I take it, but... So we have six. Yeah, we'll get an experience. I'm going to take this. Do something like that. It's not much for now. The Gord Father, oh, with Gord Heads. Reaper Shamans. Spooky Skull. Whenever a related minions attack, applied four poison. That could be huge if you had poison going. No, I'm not going to hold on to this. It's like this guy will attack one of these back here at the start of combat. And we don't have to give him plus two. We'll just do that. <laughs> One poison to an enemy. Yeah, there's one down. So now he's unprotected. He could get hit. We're scaling. Uh, I left it at one. All right. We're good. I'm probably going to replace him eventually, but... And now we're at level 5. So we can hopefully get some nice stuff, and we get a new spell. Resummon our highest attack, which would be him. And he resummons with shielded. 
That's kind of cool, too. Your meme's the least attack gains attack equal. Oh, if we could put that on that somehow. What's going to be more scaling? This Let's go Endless Ranks. Let's see how this does, and we'll replace the poison. Oh, we gotta forget a spell. Okay, we did. Oh, we have to sacrifice one of these? I think that's fine. Oh, that didn't show up for us to sacrifice. Interesting. Um, I do too, but this... um, It doesn't have any tags that share it. It's not related to it. This is a zombie warrior, and this is skeleton, rogue, and, like, blight. Yeah, 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 no, but yeah, I, I, I'm with you. These aren't great. I'm actually gonna do this. Yeah. So actually, can we do this? Buy, sacrifice, get another bonus. Zombie steward. Singularatus? Whenever friendly spell triggers. Okay. Mushi... Another one of those. Magic Mastery. There's another one. But again, it's not related. That could be really cool. Especially if we're going to be sacrificing a lot. This too. Another minion is shield permanently. You know, let's grab this. We're going to put you back. Yeah, we'll still use you. Because it's a related minion that can attack. And we'll go ahead and lock this for the mummified pet. Aw, Frida girl. Alright. Oh, that's just it. Alright. Sneaky ranged. Give a random enemy plus five attack. They then attack a random neighbor. Okay, we have a lot of shielded, so this might be okay. Makes a bonus attack. Makes a bonus at Oh, God. One down. Shielded. No, they just took out the hunger right away. That thing's going to do a lot of damage to whatever it hits. 
Yeah, like that. But now we get two bone ballista attacks. <laughs> One down. All right, we're fine, but that thing's starting to do work. It's great. Already max level, yeah. So actually, we can go Moon Shaman. Let's go Moon Shaman. Your blights everywhere, your shamans everywhere, or yeah, we'll go with this. We'll sacrifice this guy. Like to give him shielded, so let's take this. Oh no, I misclicked. I thought I had to put it shielded. Uh put it on. Oh well. I can hold on to this. Bone Butler, give or late. I mean, that's a lot of skeletons and blights for us. How much is it? It's plus one. Uh, it's plus one, plus one permanently. Like, just plus one, plus one. I'm not sure that's fast enough. That's cool. I'm going to hold on to this shop. Because at the very least, we have Blood Orange. These guys again. One poison. He didn't go down. It's a lot of stuff going on. All right, it lived. <laughs> Had so much health, though. Like, so many lives. I think once he gets 10 charges, it's just over. This guy. When it dies, we get extra attack, but then they attack a random neighbor. I was hoping the shielding would get through it, but it doesn't seem like it's going to. I lived with one. There's to 20. Uh, we... Oh, he gains that much attack. I forgot. We lived with one. No, we didn't make it. We still have one left. All right, we got stuff to worry about. Let's sacrifice him. I'm tempted to just take this. In fact, I'm going to. Whenever you summon a related min... Oh, that would have been huge. Blight, Skeleton, and Mage. Let's just sacrifice you. I'm going to put this here. Because, like, this will end up summoning out anyway after the Redwood. 
or Deadwood, and then yeah, there's all of this. Okay. The Realm's Lament. Is it just 2,500? Is that all it is? There's got to be more to it, right? It's got a lot. It's got five lives. a lot of health though <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> there's one down Yeah, I think I underestimated it. Holy cow. Yeah, if we had some sort of scaling in combat, we'd be all right. Like, if we had, like, a Viking funeral to help these guys scale up, we'd be in good position, but... Oh, there goes one. <laughs> He's just taking out the ballistas. <laughs> Fucking stop! I need those! Yeah, hit him. That's fine. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. Because we'll get two attacks off. I guess a little more than that. Hit. Go right. Okay. No. <laughs> we didn't make it. I underestimated it. Oh, still a fun little one. All right, we, we needed scaling damage for that. We perished. All right, I don't know if there's like unlocks and stuff. Lucky Knuckle Bones. This reclaimed item can now appear in future runs. Okay. How do I continue? I was gonna say, how do I continue? And then I'm like, oh, I hit the fucking continue button. Yeah, you can look through all of this stuff here, too. I still kind of want to be surprised, so I'm going to hold off. Oh, also, Alivan, Season 7 of Battleground starts next week. I will be trying it. Let's do another run. Uh, it's also got singles. It does have solos. So, Bone Collector. Whenever you merge, you get an additional skull. Win or run? We were close. Fuck you. Come join the uh, US East server or whatever. Alright, so Skeleton Warrior. Why is...
I mean, it kind of makes sense we just do this and lock. That way we get the upgrade. I could have done that better. I could have put the dead eye archer up front. Yeah. I don't know what the issue is, man. Well, let's do this. So we merge, so we get an extra one. Your skeletons everywhere have plus one health permanently. Your warriors. Let's go see the skeletons. And we also got this guy. We merge again. Skeletons have plus one attack. Skeletons everywhere have plus one health. Or your rogues. Plus one attack. Uh, no, let's just reroll. Whenever a friendly spell triggers this combat. Plus one. Okay. We win this. And then ranged on him. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to go in mostly blind. I'm actually doing a Magic the Gathering pre-release this weekend. Which should be interesting. Whenever a friendly minion attacks and survives, it gets plus... No, this combat. This combat for every related minion. I guess we'll take that. So you're not a skeleton. This guy. Free reroll... This combat. We don't really have a lot of reanimation stuff. You go to my health. So we can buy two. Let's take him. Spooky Skull. That guy's cool. Um, there's also that. I'm going to lock this. Like, getting a spell this early could be cool. I'm doing uh I'm doing pre-release, so it's not like constructor or anything. I pay thirty-five bucks. I get a whole bunch of boosters and play against other people. Not like I'm building my own deck or anything. We're gonna do it on him. Yeah. The fuck? Yeah, I don't do constructed, but I'll do drafts and stuff like that. Uh, rogues and mages get plus three attack, additional storage, more health, turn skulls, free reroll each turn. Increase your magic or poison mastery. Plus, we could go. Let's try going magic stuff. So fairly. Oh, I mean, I'm not. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so you're gonna deal six damage to him. You're gonna deal two damage to him. They're both shielded. But you're going to become a 210. Which should do a good job of carrying the fight. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to go Magic Mastery. More Magic Mastery. So now we get lots more magic damage. So like that guy. First, let's grab this. We get... Plus two health. Okay. Skeletal Soldier. Honestly, it's better than that. Shield the minion behind him. We get a free reroll. Reaper Feral. Another one of those. Another one of those. Like getting extra spells each turn seems helpful, but I'd like to try to find some scaling. Hey Turtle, it's like Storybook Brawl in a roguelike. It's actually a really fun game. Um, so you spend skulls with your currency each turn. Every minion has a tag or a couple. Related minions are anything that shares at least one tag. Create synergies. And then fight. Looks like I'm about to get blown up. If you take damage, you gain two attack. Well, we want to do a bunch of damage to you. So let's do... This. Yeah, it's very cool. For every related one. We don't have anything that's triggering multiple times right now. Let's just try to keep him alive and then plus two health. We'll do that. He will be our solo carry. Or at least attempt it. Got him. Not even close. Yeah, so we came close last time. Like, this is a game I made a video of a few months ago for the demo, and the uh, early access came out a couple days ago. That seems like a very helpful one. The Sneaky does too. But I'm going to get my free reroll instead of the Sneaky. Okay. We got some stuff. Um... So let's go that guy. We get an extra one for merging. Target minion gains a shield. Your warriors have a health. Your skeletons have a health permanently. I think we're going skeletons and stuff. We'll go ahead and merge him into a perfect one. Uh, upside, computer is back. Your job. Ew. That sucks. There's Viking Funeral. Combat start, give related, improved... Okay, this is actually some decent scaling for us already. I'm going to take the Bone Butler. I'm actually going to take this and sell it. We'll upgrade this. Protected. And then we'll do this, and then we're going to take the Bone Butler. Swap these out. Yeah. Skeletal Soldier's perfected. So we're good. Well, I'm glad your computer's working, man. That's a, that's a big deal. Let's give it to him to make him a little beefier. Because, like, we're never putting seven on him, right? 
Yeah. So he's 7 8, and then we can put 2 on. He's going to sacrifice himself. Uh, I wanted to switch those two. Oh, well. That's fine. Living with one is not okay. You still been playing Balatro? Yeah, I wanted those two switched. I also have to keep an eye on the time. I have a friend coming over to kick my ass uh, in Smash today. Which I know doesn't narrow it down, but... Man, those are not helpful. That's a third-person shooter, right? Yeah, okay. I've heard about it. There's just so many things I want to play right now that doesn't make sense for me to do. And I'm not happy with any of these. Where are my skeletons? Okay, here's some. Uh, so we can do Skull Juggler. Skeletons everywhere have a health permanently. Stewards have an attack permanently. Gain a skull. We don't need to gain a skull, so I'm going to go... Skeletons have an attack. We're going to sacrifice him so we can play this. Gain a skull. I don't think gaining a skull is going to do much for us. So I'm going to take the health permanently. Do this. Some cool stuff in there for next turn. I think Dead Eye Archer gives us a perfected one. That'll help. This is improved. If we put it here, I actually get some scaling. And the skeletal soldier has to be replaced at some point. But I have friends? Yeah. Although he plays hero, so I'm not sure if I think he's actually my friend. You're already going to KO him, so let's give you some stuff. Give you some stuff. That's fine. Sorry, let me check that real quick. Sorry, let me grab this real quick. And then we'll get back to trying to make this skeleton thing work. I don't know what the big payoff for skeletons is, is the thing. Okay, yeah, I don't know what the big payoff for skeletons is. Whenever friendly minion's shield is consumed... Oh, that would have been great last time. When you learn to spell, lose a life and gain three experience... Oh, that would have been nice, too. Oh, there's so many. Um, We're playing Smash Brothers. Yeah, we're going to learn this and then gain three experience. All right, so Deadeye Archer on you. Skeletons have an attack. Your rogues or... Yeah, we'll go. Skeletons get attack. Go and put that there. And then... 
When summoned, give another minion shield permanently. That, that's a zombie. Gourd heads. Man, these are not what I was hoping for. I guess that. That's fine. And then the shield. I'll put on him. We'll upgrade the soul juggler. Skeleton shamans. Yeah, we're getting skeleton stuff again. We learned one poison. Okay. Spooky skull stuff. Alright, we could probably do alright with this. So we actually have a lot that's getting a benefit from this bone butler. No, poison is a dot. It's just one damage every time they do something. Um, every time they attack. No, uh, like death touch or poisonous is called deadly in this game. See you a little bit later if I get there. Life, fill your board with scarabs. Well then. Giant fuck you. Well, if they're just going to be like that, we want to make sure we have break points. Okay. Seems like this game has a bunch of cool combos. Yeah, it does. Like, there's so much. And again, this is only the first character. Um, We're kind of of the opinion that they're killing the meta and really just making the game worse. Like, if we do random squad strike and either of us get Sonic or Steve, we generally just SD that stock. Same thing for Pyramithra. We're kind of of the opinion the game would be better without Fighters Pass 2 and Sonic. I'm, a, I'm personally okay with Sora. I think Sora is a really cool character and not super toxic. Still a little toxic. Um, but the rest of Fire's Pass 2 kind of just is awful. Plus one. Or guaranteed one spirit in each. Uh, that's kind of cool. That's a lot. Sneaky, shielded, and plus one, plus one. Gain of life or XP. We could do that and actually... Level up. And then we'll take this. Yeah, we can go up to level 4. So we're going to gain an experience. Cool, level 4. And we get to choose a spell. We got to get rid of one. So we're going to get rid of the poison. If a minion dying triggers a friendly ability, trigger it twice. Kill a friendly minion. Then give related minions their attack and health this combat. We could do it on that. And give... That seems like it'd work really well with Spooky Skull. Yeah. Okay. So I think as long as I understood it correctly... Now, does this just give 2217 to everything? 
Yes. Yes, it does. That's kind of insane. Yeah, that's nutty. We're just gonna... Do that. Why wouldn't we? Also, I do have to keep an eye on the time and on my Discord. Um... All right. Well, I mean, this is... The Bone Ballista is really good, and, like, we'll probably use it again. What makes this work is the combination of that spell and the fact that this thing is going to die anyway. And now we get this. So, yeah, we go Spooky Skull. We get a bonus. And then we upgrade it. Whenever a friendly spell triggers, you gain one. Mm. Man, none of these are skeletons. I guess we take Deadwood. We might be able to do some cool stuff with it, but. I'm going to reroll once. Don't they stop be skeletons? All right, so you're also a mage. Mm. I can reroll once more. There's Bone Ballista. It's at five. I think I can sell this to get Bone Ballista going. We'll just play that for now. Here's the Deadly we were talking about. Oh yeah, now that it's perfected, it hits everything in a row. That is so unbelievably busted. Yeah, instead of just the first enemy, it hits... First enemy twice. That could be helpful. And then we sell it and play this guy. So it's something like this. Shield the Bone Ballista. Sell and buy. But now we want him up front. Uh, it's fine for now. <laughs> it's great. Uh, they have to be the same, uh... Like, they have to be the same card. And so they'll have sparkles in the shop. Uh, I don't have one here. Uh, and then... A, also, you can see... Down here, there's different coloring. So, like, this is, like, kind of just... The normal color of the card, quote. This is, like, a greenish gold. And then... It, which is the best. 
and then like the silver is improved. So there's normal, improved, and perfect. We're still getting like no... All right, that's something. There's another spooky skull, but I don't think we need two. Here. Whenever you summon a minion, this combat. All right, so here we go. So you see how, like, these are sparkling? So I can take, like, this guy. I just remembered he wasn't up. Health. Skeletons have an attack permanently. Yeah, we'll take an attack permanently. And then we can put him on there. Because you can combine two improved ones. Yeah, yep. We can grab another one of him if we want. Yeah, let's grab another one of him. Combine them. Our character gets one extra skull whenever we combine things. I'm actually just going to do this. So then we can take this Bone Ballista. It's now improved. And then I can just hold on to, like, this for next turn, because skulls aren't aren't uh, carried over between turns. One damage, one damage. I'd like to take them out. Um, so I'm hoping we can. We're... Just short, but that's okay. We took him out at least, and then he goes down. So busted. It's so ridiculous. Moon Shaman, Blight Shaman, whenever we sacrifice friendly minions. That could really add up. And we can improve. Uh, we can't actually do it right away. Uh, we could come close. So what if we do this? We put that there. We buy this. We miscalculate grossly. And just do this. <laughs> I'll hold for next turn, but out of curiosity. Oh, even if it's there, it counts. Okay. We'll hold that to improve it. I mean, yeah, I guess. Imagine if this was, like, improved and it was giving plus two, plus two. <laughs> Slumbering dragon. Deal one damage to all enemies. You wake up. Oh, boy. Wait, I want to go back. I can't go back. Uh, actually, it might be okay. Like, we're just going to get it to half health right away. Like... That's supposed to be the boss fight for this area. What the hell? Skeletons and spirits are related. Could be really cool. Skeletons and blights. Additional minion storage spot. Yeah, let's take this. I'm going to take another experience. We're going to keep trying to get better and better stuff. I didn't know what Awakened it was going to do.
That's what I was worried about. Um, okay. <clears throat> well, now we have the Moon Shaman. Your Blights. Wait, isn't... Skeletons and Spirits, not Blights. I guess I'll just take that. We got a free reroll. So we can give everything plus four attack with that. I guess we need something that only costs three, which would be you for now. Damn you. That's my bone ballista, you bastard. I just gonna go through that, but I'm not sure this is entertaining content. I'm gonna be honest. I, I yeah, I'm gonna be honest. It could. But if it only transforms one of them... Oh yeah, we're leveled up now. Whenever friend and minion's shield is consumed, they gain a shield. That would have been great last time. Wait. All right, so actually that's a lot too, but I'm going to go with the champion. So I don't think he's going to have the highest, but he might, he might come close. Whenever you summon a minion, this combat... So we can do Crow Collar again if we want to think beyond when summon give another uh... So we're looking for spirits and skeletons. Here it is. Whenever another related minion die, you get one magic mastery. I mean, that could be a lot. Uh, it could be, actually. Yeah, you're right. Well, not even then, because then I just kill something else. Like, I kill him, and I still get 20 26. I think I'm fishing too hard, but... I think from beyond, another Bone Shaman. But Bone Shaman's uh, already perfected. Frank. Zombie steward. Skeletal dragon. How is it not a skeleton? How is it not a skeleton? It's a fucking skeletal dragon.
It's not... Oh, wait, there it is. I just saw Feral Spirit. Okay, never mind. I take it back. My bad. My bad. All right, we'll save up for it. All right, I, I got myself all twisted around. All right, we'll, we'll get it. Yeah, I completely missed the tag. Don't do it. Okay, that's fine. It, actually, is it? Yeah, it's probably worth it, right? Wait, does it say permanently? So I wonder if it destroys it permanently. This could be stupid. This could be really dumb. Yeah, yep, but it's also easy to get rid of sometimes because of that. <laughs> Let's chew through this guy. That's disappointing, but... Now, does this go away permanently is the big thing. Like, that dragon's gonna get insane. <laughs> yeah, there are some add-ons like that, but... If you just tell me what you want me to hover over, I'm more than happy to do so. Okay, it is gone permanently. The dragon? There you go. Yep. Now we do this. Plus one attack. I might just take the extra skull so we can reroll and sacrifice stuff. Let's see this. So I just need to find Shaman, Mage, or Spirit. Shaman. That works. Oh, look at the goodies. Look at them all. We'll go through this guy. Wait, it didn't... Did I screw something up? I might have screwed something up. This doesn't seem okay, though. <sighs> All 
All right. Um, plus five health permanently. Minion storage. Life or experience. Skull. Attack. Let's go with this one. All right. Oh, boy. Turn start. Deal magic damage equal to your health to a random unprotected enemy. So that's three. So it has a chance to take these out. So most likely only he's going to be alive. And then that's going to become a 9-3. You're going to become a 5-4. I think this side's gonna win. Oh, I didn't. I didn't look at this. And they're shielded. <laughs> it's okay. No, I screwed up. <laughs> Dang it! I didn't. I forgot about the shielded part. <laughs> Okay. Now we have even more to work with. So. This is five, though. That's an issue. We'll just do that. So that's when you get that much attack. Let's just try to go through there. Yeah, he doesn't get much, but left with a one. These guys might start to outscale us. <laughs> yeah, they are. But I, I still think we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we can grab this. Got an upgrade. Your blight, no. Spirits. I'll take an extra skull. And then we'll improve it to a perfect. Another skeletal dragon? Alright. So that's an improved one. Now we get this. Go skeletons get extra. That's a perfected one now. Don't need another skeletal dragon, but what we can do is take it and just put it there. Okay. That just keeps giving us more health. Yeah, and they heal. But we're fine. Like, this is not an issue. I'm going to hold on to that. We're going to wait for that. And we'll just put it in front of this dragon. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's not great. I 
I think we can get rid of it first. Let's do this. That's okay. Now they all get that. You eat... What the fuck? We, all right, I got to read. Well, we get double its stats. Oh, wait, it ate it. The one in front of it ate it. But then it lived and then came back, but now it's gone. Fuck. Okay, so Bone Dragon also eats whatever's behind it, apparently. So what happened is the one in front ate the one behind, but then the one behind re-summoned and ate the one in front of it. Uh, because of, like, champion or whatever. But because it was eaten, it's now gone. Fuck! All right. This isn't good. <laughs> we got to find another skeletal dragon. I'm just going to I'm just going to fish for stuff. Fine. We would have been so good, too. Because it had so many stats. Oh, and now our bone ballista's down. Is there a ch like we probably live this actually? Maybe. Okay. We're probably fine still, but All right. Another bone butler. I'm going to take an extra skull. We're going to keep looking for stuff. Bone Ballista upgrade? Because that's... No, that's improved, not perfected. Alright, Skeletal Dragon.
behind or in front. Oh, we don't have enough. Hold on, we can we can sacrifice something. Thank you. Is this savable? We might have enough beef to get through. Uh, yeah, it's got 2,500 hit points, I think it is, but, like, we have a ton of hit points, too, and he only does 20 per attack. Yeah, you're picking on my dragon now. You wouldn't have done that four turns ago when he had, like, 800 attack. Fine, be that way. Except he's back because we have champion and he revives. I think it... I think that we only came back because of the champion. Or else I just wouldn't have had any dragons. Yeah, yep. Leave my bone ballista alone. We did it. All right. All right. I would have felt so bad if we lost the run because of that. I would have felt so bad. You sit upon the throne of bone once more and you may rest for now. Oh, that was almost so bad. That was almost so bad. The Boneyard is unlocked. This reclaimed item can now appear to you. I don't even think that was Exodia. Because, like, we didn't get Viking Funeral. Which would have made it even nuttier. And we didn't have, like, a ton of scaling. <clears throat> between combats. Viking Funeral would have gone crazy. Viking Funeral, whenever a related minion attacks, it gets plus six attack. So, imagine... Bone Ballista attacking and just constantly getting plus six attack. New character. New character is Fleshsmith. Monsters gain health equal to the number of mini minions you've merged. Interesting. We're going to wrap it up there, though. I got my friend coming over. Going to have fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I want to throw this stream together real quick. And uh, I'll probably be making a YouTube video for this. Maybe I'll upload this run today, actually. That'd be a decent run. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back uh, tomorrow, Thursday. Hopefully see everyone then. Take care.